Cowabunga, everybody! Ninja Turtles are in the theaters right now. They won the weekend box office. They've already greenlit a sequel, but we believe that they can do better. And we've brought in our resident fixer, Mr. Nick Mundy, to lay it out for us. Nick. This is my segment, but I guess my fearless leader said I need to learn about teamwork and yeah, cooperation. Yeah, we're a team. Here's the thing. This is a subject that we are all passionate about, so everyone wanted to be here to support you, Nick. All right, fine, fine. So, Ninja Turtles, you guys won the box office. You already got greenlit for a sequel, but that doesn't mean you can rest on your laurels. We're here to tell you how to fix Ninja Turtles 2. Bam. Kawabunga. Rule one, more turtles. This isn't the Megan Fox movie. We don't, uh -huh. we, we don't care about Megan Fox. We care about the turtles. And that's the one thing you guys got right. They were fun. That elevator scene was probably the best scene in the movie. I will totally admit that I was impressed they did that because when I first saw those turtles, yeah. I was like, holy shit, I don't want to see this movie. That looks ridiculous. I have to totally give them credit for making me fall and actually enjoy those turtles. Yeah, yeah. because when we just saw the pictures before the movie, they looked oh. like roided out monstrosities. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I came in expecting to hate them. I think, the, to your point, though, they really took too much from the Transformers franchise, where I feel like the reason it did succeed over Trent, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta push this up. I can't yeah, I can't. Can we? Can we just agree to? Can we? All it's right. really hard to have a serious discussion wearing these. <laughs> no, well, let's let's, let's do it. My, point. My, my, uh. My, uh, yeah. Can we fucking take these masks off? Cause they're driving me damn crazy. Okay. I was gonna say I think they took too much from the Transformers like scripting rule of filmmaking, where it's like Sam's parents and all these humans that yes. they overused yeah. in those Transformer movies. But where tr turtles actually could succeed is the turtles have character. The turtles are fun. You yeah. want to watch them. Yes. My other po my, my point is we've Hang seen. On, before you go any further, <laughs> like, just pull it down. Pull oh, it all the way down. Yeah, there we yeah. go. <laughs> but my point is, I just think like yes, they got the turtles right. They they match their archetypes that they've had. But like for the sequel, let's see some growth because they've been like what five turtle movies, three TV shows. They they're never changing. Let's see them. Grow. Boom. Nick, what do you got next? Forget the origin story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. can we just completely forget it for forget never? It never happened. Okay, never we will happened. completely forget that Splinter taught them ninjutsu from a book. <laughs> We're going to forget that April's dad and, and Eric Sachs created the turtles. And we're also gonna forget that April rescued them from a fire instead of saving their dad, who either got shot by an arson fire. First and, of all, and then she dumps in, them in a sewer. And then dumps them in a sewer. <laughs> Let's just yeah, agree, first, you got the origin out, you had to do done. it, you it's yeah. over, you you never talk burn. about the it again. The damage has been done. You never discuss it We again. don't have to talk about it. Don't try to retcon it, don't try that to just, fix it. It's done, just, it's done. move on. It's, it's like how we forgot about the Man of Steel episode. We completely forgot it. You can move on and just focus on, 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 on other things, on greater things. Okay, we got that. Nick, give us another one. How about we get a real shredder in the next Ninja Turtles movie? Tonight I dine on turtle soup. I don't know, was Eric Sachs supposed to be Shredder? It looked like that's the way it was going. So apparently there were these reshoots, right Dan? Well, I there's I mean, there's not been any confirmation, but our, our good friend Andre the Black Nerd yeah. uh, brought up a great point in his review of the movie, which was that William Fickner was supposed to have played the Shredder. He oh. said that I he have was we we've done interviews, I've seen interviews with him. He said he was playing Shredder. He's, I am He's the Shredder. It. And if you go back and look at it, it's like you only see the real Shredder once, I think, or maybe yeah. twice, and it's in like a black, it's dark shadowy. room, shadowy. Reshoots. There's no other characters yep. in the scene. But that leaves us with no Shredder. We have this blank, vaguely <sighs> Asian guy who does a nominal reference to the cartoon with series. With 50 knives on each arm. Right, but and you, we never see him again. Yeah. But you know what? With all that said, let's put Fickner in the Shredder costume, mm -hmm. and then he could be a badass Shredder. Yeah. Because he's a great... Actor, you, you're just wasting him when he's just like, you know, staring and like collecting his paycheck. Well, he's but, still got a pharmaceutical company to run. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that they actually were so worried because there was all this backlash of Shredder's not Asian. What are we going to do? Uh, William Fickner and Shredder was the least of this movie's yeah, problems. Yeah. It, it was like the executives were like, hey guys, uh, the internet's really uh, shitting on a, uh, like a lot of our choices. What's the easiest thing to do? <laughs> The Shredder armor's not supposed to be scary. No. Shredder's yes. supposed to be scary. Yes. For the second one, William Fickner is 
the Shredder as Batman. He's in the shadows. He's scheming. He's revenge. going to take revenge. He's going to take them well, down. Shredder needs his own boss, and it needs to be Crank. Which takes us to our next rule. Embrace the Ninja Turtle universe. So like Andy was saying, Shredder probably needs a boss. Hey, that mutagen is alien. Like, that's fine. No one cares about that. From what alien planet or what dimension, right? Yeah. Let's bring Krang into the movies. There's been five movies. Why haven't we seen Krang? Let's explore the world. Ninja Turtles does have a rich history that you can take from. And, and Krang is the start of it. Krang's like the emperor and, yeah. and mm -hmm. Shredder's Darth Vader. You've, you've, no, it's just creates an awesome dynamic with even the villains that, that we could be spending time on instead of Will Arnett trying to get in April O'Neil's pants. Right. And uh, then you could also bring means. you could also bring Baxter Stockman. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Who which characters do you each want to see? Because I think I even though he's been there again, I still want to see Casey Jones again. It'd be great to see some Bebop and Rocksteady Amen. in there. Uh, hey guys, you know who would make the great long. Yeah. We need them for sure. You know who would make a great Casey Jones? And he's worked with Michael Bay before. Chris Maloney. Okay, I was gonna say The Rock. Cause oh god! How there great would it be? He's a legitimate threat. He's, he's bigger right. than the turtles. He's not right for Casey Jones. How, why? why? I, Mr. Johnson, I love you, but you're not right for Casey. Casey Jones. Jones. Why? Because he's a badass who can throw weapons at people. You're just trying to get your friend to work. But I think this speaks to a bigger point, as far as as, as all of the turtles movies go, which is that it seems like the people that are making these movies are afraid to open it up because they think it's too weird, or they yeah, think it's they're too. They're already mutant like, ninja turtles. They're well, inherently weird. That, Why not go for it? That and the fact that the most weird out there, crazy batch insane movie is yeah. pro that has come out that I can remember is gonna, probably going to be the number one movie this summer, which is Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. And it proves that it doesn't matter who your characters are. It doesn't matter where it takes place. If you write a good movie, if yeah. you tell a good story, mm -hmm. if you have compelling characters, people are going to go see it. And I feel like the Ninja Turtles are like, oh, Dimension X and a big talking brain. That's too weird. Make him a badass villain? I would... I would be there. If Ace Duck had shown up at the end of Ninja Turtles, Ace fans Shredder. would have lost their shit. I'm telling Listen, you. Listen, they ended the movie above Times Square with the Shredder dangling a vial of ooze. It would have been so easy for him to drop it and it falls on top of a, a pet rhino. store rhino and there's a cage. rhino and a warthog oh. and a duck and a rabbit yep. and they all get covered mm. in mutagen. They don't have to grow. It's just a teaser and they could have set up a whole universe and right there. I would have been so much more excited. Yeah, oh, or that would have been a so trailer cool. carrying zoo animals yes. or something. Oh, that yeah. would have been or so a circus. awesome. circus, yeah. yeah. How about some neutrinos? No. Go to hell. Do you hear this, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle writers Go. and di directors? Please! We are excited about Please. this! Give the fans what they want! I feel like this is the first time, Nick, tell me if I'm wrong. It seems like a lot of times when we do this, we, when, when we have, when we do these how to fixes, it's like, it's it's almost like we're we're shouting into the void because we know there's no chance that these things are gonna get fixed. But I feel like we could do it. Yeah, plus yeah, we, we do, do it together, plus, screen right. junkies. Plus we do these how to fix is usually when the movie's already in the can. <laughs> that too. That <laughs> but, hurts. Well, but look, now, we, we lot met, of lead time. We met the writers, we should say that. And yeah. they seem like very smart, nice guys. Awesome, I don't dude. mean to, sh to keep saying it's your fault. Who knows whose fault it really was. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like now, if you're back and I hear they're producers of this franchise, there's a rich universe that you need to educate yourself on yeah. and that the fans are passionate about. It doesn't have to always please the hardcore fans. There's a younger yeah. audience that still wants to see it. I get it, mm -hmm. but you can please both. Avengers is the perfect example of where you can please them both by having the Easter eggs and having the, yes. the, everything there and still being a great movie. What we're doing right now, it comes out of like love and excitement that like there's a foundation of awesome turtles. They established a world that would that could make a really fun sequel that mm -hmm. we would be excited to see. And we're not, that's the other thing is like, people are gonna watch this video and be like, oh, a bunch of 30, 30 year old butt hurt fanboys just bitching about the turtles. That's not it at all. Like the turtles were, I haven't watched Ninja Turtles in 20 years. Like I'm not connected to, it's just like, it would be cool to see those characters because they're fun characters. They don't have to be just like they were when I was a kid. Yes. Yeah. But it would be fun to see a movie with those characters. Well, and I think that's the thing people get wrong about this whole segment is we want, I don't want movies to be bad. I don't want to be doing this segment. Right. I'd rather be doing, hey, this f***ing movie's great. Let me yell about it. We want all the movies to be good. This we want them to be great. To be and then, but this one, yeah. if we do like a couple of things, it could be great. And that's what we want. The first one happened. Okay, we move on with our lives, but let's make a kick-ass second one. All right, guys, we've laid out how to make the next movie awesome. Now, can we just uh, reassemble, put our mask back on, give everybody a big cowabunga dude? Let's try. On the count of three, hang on, all right? Hang on. One, two, three. Cowabunga, cowabunga dude! dude!
I thought it was just half of us said dude and half of us didn't. Well, that was a good time. How would you go about fixing the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? Leave us an answer in the comment section below. We want to know. This episode, it's brought to you by Best Buy, where you can experience the best in ultra HD TVs. And guess what? Screen Junkies is giving away an ultimate ultra HD TV. Click the sweepstakes link in the description below and enter for a chance to win. Thanks again for watching the show. I'm Hal Rudnick. Hit me up on Twitter. Bye bye. The rest of this thing is all Schwarzenegger. <laughs> number two, Terminator against number 10, Commando. Jay. Uh, oh, Terminator's a better movie.